My name is Lawrence Stokema, lecturer at Guru University in the Department of Education Foundation. Besides, I'm chairman board of directors for Bosco Uganda, which falls under the Social Communication Commission of the Archdiocese of Gulu. Education in Uganda has one challenge. That is, learners do not get hands-on experience. The major concentration is on academic passing examination. So we need to have a clear program in all the institutions where knowledge, the theoretical knowledge that the learners get in the classrooms is translated into practicals in the various areas that these learners go out. In some faculties, for example, in the various universities in Uganda, in the various tertiary institutions in Uganda, the students now, the college institutions now have developed a system where knowledge that is got through the lectures, through contact with the lecturers in the classroom, is transferred for the benefit of the common man through a program which is known as internship, where students go out to learn a particular aspect practically particular aspects in whatever discipline, be it medicine, education, computer, engineering, agriculture, they go out there to see how best the theory can be put into practice in the life of the rural man, the rural woman, to bring about change in attitude of the people. But these are only a few institutions. My prayer is that if the entire country could adopt a system where learners must have the internship program for a longer duration, say two months, three months in each academic year, that would help to bring meaningful change in the life of the people. And that is the way that I envisage the education being able to transform other development initiatives that we are currently involved in and that would transform the life of the rural person for the betterment of the Ugandans. So Fortunately, there are a few institutions in Uganda that uh, are coming up with the idea of transferring theoretical knowledge again from the classrooms into the field to give the learners hands on experience in doing the practical what we know as outreach or internship for a few of our faculties in good university for example there is an attachment which the students doing a program of education go out and do there's an attachment that the students doing Bachelor of Computer Science, go out and do. Uh, students of medicine also reach out to the field. Students of agriculture go out. They really want to transfer the knowledge and try to improve on the productivity and efficiency of the farmers. So the whole issue is if we have got to undertake meaningful education, education that transforms the life of the people socially, economically, politically, there is need for that element of internship to be embedded in all programs. The realization is that the system of education right from primary, secondary, up to tertiary is more concentrated on passing examination. Not much emphasis is put on the learners gave it getting hands on experience, being able to be job creators, being able to do a little thing, to fix a little thing on their own without the assistance of others. So that is the gap that we have in our education system, which fortunately is being addressed the government has brought in the policy of involving 
vocational entrepreneurial education into the learning but not at the very foundation which is the primary that is lacking the day that government fills that gap i expect that uh, the learners who come out will be fully fully equipped for life in the world outside and if they're fully equipped in the various uh, discipline of knowledge that should be going a long way in bringing about meaningful development where the need the theory is put into practice and help to transform the life of the people bring about meaningful development in the life both in the in the life of the people especially in the rural area so that the misconception that many people have about education as being a source of uh, gaining ex- ex- uh, uh, gaining employment is reduced education should be looked much more as a tool of empowerment of enlightening the people so that the people are equipped with some skills to do meaningful work on their own there is little the economy of Uganda cannot support cannot employ all the graduates but uh, initiatives on the path of the youth on the path of government can go away to bring about meaningful development thank you